I like to put the date on the outside of my sketchbook when I'm done with it, just so that on my shelf I can kind of see what sketchbook is which just by looking at it immediately. Sometimes I like to pull old stuff from my sketchbooks to rework and make into like finished pieces. So it's nice being able to like easily come back to them. The first page of my sketchbook I always use as like a little swatch page. I think this just helps with the pressure of starting a new sketchbook and it's just like a really nice reference to go back to. I'll also use the front page to write down any materials that I want to buy. Alright, open up the first page and there's this little spread. I put this piece of paper over it because it's graphite so I didn't want it spreading onto the other page, especially because it's the first page of my sketchbook. I knew it was gonna get kind of roughed up and I thought that'd kind of help. So this is April 24th. This is actually uh, Hassan Piker's puppy. I just thought it was really cute, so I drew it. I really like Tibetan Mastiffs. I think they're adorable. I kind of like the swords as part of the border. It's kind of cute. I really like this cat. I feel like when I made it, I was like, oh, this is like not that great. But the more I look at it, the more I realize just like how fun it was to make and how loose I was being. Pretty cute. And the fruit that I put around the cat, you'll see that kind of theme come up a few times in my paintings. Um, when I don't know what to do, I'll just draw fruit and put them around the animal I'm drawing. I think this cat is really ugly, but the rest of it's okay. <laughs> don't really like this page. One of my favorite things to draw is cats or animals in general with a fish in their mouth. I think it just gives like a quick little glimpse into what the animal is doing without it being like a whole story. I wrote having fun because I was trying to convince myself that I was having fun. Um, I'm not sure I actually was in the moment, but that's okay. So I really like this little sword illustration that I did. It ended up becoming the sticker for the month of April for my patrons. I actually quite like this spread. I don't know why when I look at it, I just kind of feel calm. And I remember feeling that when I was painting it too. I think that I used Windsor & Newton designer's gouache for this. And the reference photos I used for these were actually just some photos that I took from a hike I did. So that kind of makes it extra special to me. I'm working on kind of creating a library of my own photos, just simple ones I take on my iPhone, because I really want to move away from having to like find photos on the internet. It's kind of a pain and I don't want to like copy the photo too much, you know, if it's not my own. Here's two kind of unfinished paintings. This cat I thought was kind of turning out weird, so I just kind of abandoned it. I didn't even finish drawing a tail or anything. And then this landscape, I did part of it and then I left it for a long, long time. And then like months later, I kind of filled in the border a little bit, but it's still just like so unfinished. All right, here's another page that actually ended up becoming one of my stickers for Patreon. I think this was either for June or July. But I actually just like scanned this and only edited the colors and just like created a border. And I really like that you can still see like the line in the sketchbook right here. I just think traditional art is so fun and all those little imperfections are what I like about it so much. It's like a little artifact from the original painting, which I think is cool. All right, this is probably one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook. This is when I first got my new Windsor Newton watercolor palette. So I was just doing swatches of every single color. And the left side here is where I was doing some studies of some Studio Ghibli backgrounds. So both of these are from the movies. This one's from Spirited Away, like when they reach the tunnel. I don't quite remember where this one was from though. All right, this was kind of my doodle phase where I didn't really want to paint and I didn't really know what I was doing with my art. So I just kind of doodled a lot. And then I was working on trying to draw trees, but it wasn't going super well. <laughs> More doodling. I really like these flowers that, I've, that I drew here. I have drawn these a lot since then. This colorful spread was when I was on vacation in Newport, Oregon. I remember just like laying on the beach painting this, just kind of like not really caring what it looked like, but just kind of like making some marks on the page. 
this page, um, I had drawn out like a whole nice image of the hotel that we were staying in or like the view from the hotel. You can kind of like see some of the buildings here, but I never got around to it. So then I just kind of like scribbled on top. Um, I don't know why, I think I was just feeling anxious. And the intention was that I was gonna like paint over all of this and do like a full new spread, but I never ended up doing that and I don't really want to come back to it. I just think it's, I don't know, I'd rather just not look at it anymore. Here's an unfinished beach painting. I guess I just like didn't do the eyes for some reason. And yeah, I was just down at the beach, sitting there in the sun in Oregon drawing these harbor seals. I think the harbor seals are like one of the cutest animals for some reason. They're so freaking cute. Once again, I was in my doodle era for some reason. I quite like this spread. I mainly just like this painting. She was really fun to make. I think I painted her the day after going to a figure drawing class and I just wanted to draw something like really loose and I wanted to draw a human. And I think she just turned out kind of nice. I feel like the textures are really good. I used watercolor, acrylic gouache, and color pencil for this one, I remember. And yeah, this like opera pink color from the acrylic gouache is just so pretty, so bright. So yeah, around this time is when I started going to figure drawing classes. The one that I go to is every Monday night from 6 to 9 p.m. and you can just kind of like drop in whenever you want, which is really awesome. I remember being like really terrified to go because I don't draw people, or at least I didn't used to. But now I think it's like really, really fun. It's like one of the things I look forward to every week. Both of these are just in like a black acrylic ink. All right, this little spread is when I started really using the watercolor palette that I got. And I feel like this unlocked something for me. Like, first of all, I realized how much I do really love watercolor and how much I just love drawing animals. And the fact that I did like both of them in one piece was just like really solidified that that's what I want to focus on. Um, so these are really, really fun. I ended up making a sticker of this. It's not in my shop yet. I have no idea when my shop will be back open, but maybe like sometime in February. Flip a page. All right, I remember really liking this little goose that I did. I love the little bow, but I remember this cat kind of freaked me out. I thought it looked like a furry or something. <laughs> um, nothing against furries. It's just, I don't know. There's something about it that looks kind of human-like with the face and it creeps me out. So I don't really like looking at this one very much. Um, I also didn't really like the colors. I just don't really, I don't know. I don't really think I'm meant to be using cool colors like this. So yeah. And I had that realization, so I decided to go through my pencil pouch and like most of my Prisma color colored pencils and just kind of like swatch them and kind of narrow down the colors that I was going to use in my palette. And then I did this little fox. The background is like a bit too dark and it's kind of hard to see the fox, but I kind of like the concept of it. Maybe if I redid it. All right, this is definitely my favorite spread in the sketchbook. I'm just really proud of this watercolor painting. This is watercolor and colored pencil. And I think that this background is like a neo color crayon. And I actually quite like the owl too. It was just like really fun to make. Yeah, I don't know. Once again, this is where I realized that watercolor painting is my jam. So I've been really kind of leaning into that lately and it's been really fun. I was taking drawing requests on my Instagram and someone asked for a moose and someone also asked for a mallard duck. I feel like I could have made both of these cuter, but it was my first time really like drawing or painting both of them. So I was happy enough with it. These were some flowers that my boyfriend gave me on our anniversary and I didn't know what to paint. So of course I had to paint the bouquet of flowers. And then I ended up just kind of continuing the drawing with some doodling of some flowers. I kind of like this spread actually. I feel like some things definitely fell flat in a lot of ways, but I still like it. So this is a nasturium, is that how you say it? I don't know, this is just a photo that I found on Pinterest and I thought it was really pretty. I would like to redo this one. 
um, and kind of see what happens. But yeah, I feel like maybe I should have made the background darker so that these would pop out more. And then I think this was an old Still Here, Still Life um, reference photo that I decided to use. And I remember this day I really didn't want to draw, so I was just like, whatever, I'll just pick one of the photos and just do like the quickest drawing. All right, this print is actually pretty cute. So I started working like two to three days a week at this coffee shop being a barista. And it's downtown in Salt Lake City and there's a bunch of pigeons everywhere. So I've just kind of been like loving all the pigeons. Um, this is my first time drawing a pigeon, so I definitely got some of the proportions wrong, but I just think they're so cute and they're actually so smart. Their colors are unique. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I like pigeons a lot. And then this side was when I first started drawing QPs. Someone in my figure drawing class made a bunch of QP drawings and was kind of just like handing them out to people. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So I also decided like, I don't really know what to draw. I guess I'll draw a QP. So I decided to kind of sketch some out, but with a watercolor brush. And some of them turned out super creepy, like this one, that was cursed. But honestly, they're so cute. I don't know, drawing cuties is kind of fun. It's like a fun little formula to follow. All right, figure drawing again. These were just like some quick gesture drawings. And I remember I didn't really like how this looked, so I tried to cover it up with something else on my desk. Just some more gestures from a figure drawing class. I look at these and I like immediately see things that I messed up on, but I am like really progressing, which is nice. I'm definitely seeing some progress since I first started going earlier in the summer. I actually really like this one, this top one here. I wish I would have like actually done the face, but I was running out of time and I was also getting nervous that I was gonna like mess it up because I really like the rest of it. All right, I think this is nearly the last page. I don't know why I've been really into eating apples lately and I had no idea what to paint. So I just decided to paint a bunch of different apples in different forms. And then I did this page and I was like, well, what do I put on this side? So I decided to just do some green apples um, and kind of make like a cute little pattern here. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like these actually. And then I flipped the page and I remembered that I should probably draw something on this side so it's not wasted. So I just did these quick little flower sketches with a lay pen. So I finished it on December 20th, 2023.